What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Love Nut TV with Jesse G. Today we're going to be talking about the swivel and the coordinating heart pouch. So if you want to learn more about the swivel and its features, stick around because we're jumping into it right now. <laughs> Let's compare it to some other bags. This is the mini shuffle. This is already a small bag to begin with. The swivel is smaller and has less capacity even when it's expanded. And when I compare these other bags to the swivel, I'm comparing them to when the swivel's expansion zipper is open. Next. This is the Mambo. The Mambo definitely has a little more capacity than the Swivel. And as you can see, it's a little bit longer, although the depth might be pretty similar. Here it is next to the carousel. It's got similar capacity overall to the carousel with the zipper open. After much testing and consideration, I have decided that the CanCan -Can 2, also the CanCan -Can SE that's new, is probably the best overall comparison to the Swivel, not as far as dimensions go, but capacity. If you love these smaller bags, but want kind of around the same capacity in a different looking style, that's what you're going to get with the swivel. Not only that, but you're going to get a ton of pockets. I was really impressed when I opened this and saw how many pockets are just lining the walls in such a small bag. So let's start talking about the features. You get two straps with the swivel, a shoulder strap and a crossbody strap. And the length in the crossbody strap is going to be very generous, but if you find that the shoulder strap is still a little too short for your liking, you can shorten that crossbody strap all the way and turn it into a shoulder strap. And here it is with the shoulder strap compared to the shortened crossbody strap. You can see that you've got a little bit more of a strap drop. So you've got options. Not only that, but they attach these O-rings that are really substantial and really neat. So you can attach the strap to these and the heart pouch. So currently in the front pockets, I've got a small flask in one pocket. By the way, these pockets do overlap. So one is going to be overlapping in front of the other. They are two entirely separate pockets. On the other side, I have a small flashlight. With every single pocket full and with the expansion zipper zipped up, I'm still able to fit a slim wallet in here. I would be able to fit the tandem and I would be able to fit the tram, minuet or rodeo comfortably. There are a few things I wanna mention though. Number one, while we can fit a wallet in the center, it's kind of fighting for space with the large sunglasses. If you're putting readers here, you're already freeing up a little bit more space for yourself. But sometimes with the swivel, depending on what you plan to put in it, is going to determine how many of the pockets you're actually able to use. Oh, and fun fact, you can actually fit the minuet in either of the front pockets and with a little bit of maneuvering, even the rodeo, which will then free up space inside of the bag for your chunky sunglasses. And that's really the main point here with the swivel is even though they gave us a ton of pockets, if you plan to put something in the main interior, think of the pockets as options. That's going to really help when you're filling this up. So one day you might not have your sunglasses in here because you really want to fill up that large privacy zip pocket. If you're really going to bulk up all of the pockets, they might start fighting with each other a little bit. If you can keep things slim though, you're not gonna have an issue. Also, if you put your big sunglasses in this side and you can stand up your minuet on the other side, that is another great option. This bag really isn't that complicated, but what I suggest is when you get it, become acquainted with the bag ahead of time. This is not the kind of bag that you can wait five minutes before you're ready to walk out the door to go to work and throw your stuff into. So can this bag even be used when the expansion zipper is zipped up? Yes, and that's what I actually really love about this bag. Now, this is not gonna be my everyday bag that I can use when I've got my kids with me and I can fit everything in it. That's not what this bag is gonna be for for me. I just have too much stuff every day. This is a special occasions bag. And when you've got this zipper closed, it actually feels really nice. I find that when I've got it on, I keep hugging it against my body because it feels really good. Not to mention, the heart pouch is just another storage option. So if you find that you gotta throw one more thing in this bag and it's just not gonna fit, Use the pouch. Here is how one of Love's masks can fit in the front pocket as well. So now with the expansion zipper open, here is how a kickflip two would fit. I found with a kickflip three, with that extra half an inch of length, it really didn't fit as well. So I wouldn't go any larger than the kickflip two. Remember, anywhere the kickflip two can fit, 
the splits XL can also fit. So when you've got the zipper open, your kickflip 2 will fit and your splits XL will fit. While we've got the kickflip 2 in here, let's go ahead and look at the bottom. So an interesting thing about these zippers is you can actually decide which way you want them to face. They can either face outward or they can face downward. It's completely up to you. They are not scratchy. They don't hurt. They also don't catch on fabric. Another interesting thing is that even though this bag appears to be rounded when it's zipped up, when you've got it open, it somehow creates somewhat of a flat bottom. I don't know how they did that, but they did it. So here's one of my shirts that is a few years old. It's pretty worn. It's very thready. And as you can see, while I'm rubbing it up against the zipper, it's not catching, it's not ruining the shirt, and there's nothing caught in the zippers. So if that's worrying you, don't let that be a reason not to get it. I haven't experienced any problems with the zippers, and that was actually my number one concern before trying it out. A few other things we can fit when the zipper is open is a small book. I can also fit the rodeo in here with it, and I'm able to fit a couple of diapers in here if I do actually want to take this out for a short trip, and I've got one of my kids with me. It's also very easy to open and close this zipper. I haven't had it catch. The glide is very smooth, and I don't have any issues opening and closing it. And here it is with the heart pouch. Let's go ahead and talk about the pouch now. Here it is next to Lug's coin pouch. These are not the same thing, and they're not built the same way. So here's a Tamagotchi, which is pretty much gonna be the size of most people's earbuds cases. I'm able to fit that easily in the coin pouch because the coin pouches are soft sided and they're able to expand a little bit to accommodate bulkier items. But because the heart pouch is hard sided, it's going to be better for objects that aren't rounded. You're able to fit cards in these. I don't typically put my cards in the coin pouches because it's hard for me to get the zipper shut around them. In the heart pouch, I don't have that issue. Another great thing about the heart pouch is that you can clip it onto any other bag, which really comes in handy for something like the Huggy. Because the Huggy has such small capacity on the outside, it's got room for keys and a phone, but that front lower pocket doesn't actually fit any of Lug's current wallets. So if you wanted to keep your cards in your heart pouch, you could go ahead and hang it off of one of the D-rings. And like I showed everybody in my scoop video, there are other things that you can buy that are credit card sized, and you can put those things in your heart pouch. So just as an example, here's a little fork and knife set that is credit card sized, and that fits in the heart pouch as well. And the thing that people are asking the most about is whether or not the heart pouch can fit a mask. So I've got one of Lug's masks here. If I fold it up, it fits very nicely. You could probably even put something else small in there along with the mask or a couple of masks. One more thing about the heart pouch. If you plan to use this for change, if you don't open the zipper completely on the heart pouch, there will not be any gap at the bottom. But watch when I open the zipper all the way, there is a small gap there. Yes, all of them are like this. When I put a quarter inside, yes, if I open that zipper up, there is a possibility that my change is gonna fall out the bottom. However, if I don't open it all the way, my coins are safe. And as you can see here, even if I pull the sides, that zipper is not actually moving, which I'm kind of impressed by. So it's just up to you. If you want to put your coins in there, just remember not to open it all the way and it'll be fine. And like I mentioned before, the heart pouches are more structured. They are hard sided. You can hear when I tap on it that there is a board built into these, probably to help keep their shape. I think this is probably one of the cutest sets that Lug has ever released. There are currently 12 different options that this comes in. So so I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you plan to pick one up and in what color. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And like always, I'll see you guys next time.